Welcome back to Caffeine Confessionals. We are here again for another Double Agent Espresso Shot Player Preview. Five things you need to know about Mr. Kyle Christie. Number one, in terms of stats, Kyle is 28 years old, six foot tall, around 185 to 195 pounds. He's been on five seasons of the challenge and is about to be on his record-breaking sixth season for UK cast members. He has made it to two finals, has a career three and five elimination record with his highest finish being second place on Total Madness. Number two, the biggest winner of the Red Skull Twist has been Kyle. There is no punishment for last place in daily challenges these days, and as a whole, since he doesn't make many enemies since Polly and Kara are gone, he just gets to skate by and choose when to go in for his Red Skull at the end of the game. It's a bit frustrating because other players will get targeted because, you know, they have enemies, they're rookies, and on top of that, even though Kyle isn't the strongest competitor, he is physically a little intimidating with his size. Thus, he reaps all the rewards without having to deal with any of the negatives. I don't know whether I like that or not. Number three, Kyle has had a showmance or hookup every season he's been on the challenge, except for War of the Worlds 2, the season he lasted the least amount of time. Of course, we know he was with Kara on Vendettas. He also had a kiss or two with Marie and Sylvia on that season as well. Then for Final Reckoning, he hooked up with Faith, Ashley, and Kara a bit too. War of the Worlds 1, he had a thing going with Maddie. And then last season, it was him and Melissa. He's had a girlfriend the last two seasons, so I'm not sure if he's open to hookup while he's on the show. I think they know that hookups will keep him on it, so that puts money in their bank account for their house. So not sure what Kyle's situation is going to this one, but I still expect him to hook up. Number four, Kyle's strengths include the fact that he's very good at headbangers slash physical competitions. On War of the Worlds 1, he completely demolished Bear in a balls and type game. And while he had assistance from JP in that uh, three-person pole wrestle type competition, he still technically did beat CT with one hand, so Kyle's no slouch. His cardio is solid as well as along with his social game, which is pretty good in that he doesn't make any enemies and is well liked around the house. Number five, for weaknesses, Kyle has shown very little ability in puzzles. His elimination loss to Cam and Kaylee was a puzzle. He did poorly in the final puzzle slash memorization challenge of the Vendettas final, only beating Kayla, who is as well as him is a bottom tier puzzle person. He did solve the math puzzle at the end of the Total Madness final, but other than that, he's been bottom tier in that category. And his biggest weakness is the fact that he doesn't always try his hardest, which is really disheartening because if he tried his hardest all the time, he'd be a top competitor. Can Kyle win? I think for Kyle to win, he needs to make sure that Wes and CT aren't in that final because those are people who can do everything. They could run, swim, uh, solve puzzles, and Kyle can't do that. Also, I, I think Darrell needs to not be there because Darrell can just simply outpace Kyle. So no, I don't think Kyle can win unless those circumstances happen and maybe a dark horse also isn't in that final either so slim chances but it's not a non-zero chance he did come in second place last season was the second place male on vendettas as well so good luck to kyle hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe